How's it going? Sean here from Orbis X. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of how to set up your CPOS integration. Uh, so you'll be getting a welcome email with some settings and then you're going to want to log into your account and go to admin and settings and options. We'll click through here and then you're going to scroll down to integrations. We're going to open that up and on this side here you're going to see CPOS payments. This is where you can enter in your details. So you have your account ID, your user ID, and then your merchant pin. So you're going to take those credentials and paste them in there. Then you're going to save your settings. Once you save those settings, you're going to want to go down to invoices and payments. From here, under invoices and payments, you're going to have an option here, default web payment gateway. You're going to want to change that to CPOS. That way on your booking form and other places, if you're you know collecting deposits, things like that, it's going to default to CPOS. Same thing when it sends clients payment links, uh, it'll send them the link to pay with CPOS instead of Stripe or Square. Now, on your pop-up for payments, you can choose which ones you want to show or hide. Uh, so by default, it shows them all. So it'll have Stripe, Square, CPOS. But let's say you only want to use CPOS. Well, then you can simply hide the other ones and you'll be good to go. Now, where that pop-up is, I'll show you. Let me just open up the invoices in a new tab here. And so I'll go to, let's see here, we'll do this one here. So if I click payment, it's gonna show up and it's gonna have all these little icons. Um, so that's where you're gonna have CPOS uh, in there and that's because it's not uh, hidden. Now, I didn't save these settings. That's why uh, my default is showing them all. So it'll show them all like this. Uh, but you can, let's say you want to hide all the square ones, you can do that. And if I click save, here I'll show you. I'll click save, and I'll go back to my invoice list. Let me refresh the page, and then let me open up now. You'll see now it's hidden the square ones. So it's just CPOS and then Stripe, uh, as well as offline payments as well. And that came from me hiding the square ones. Uh, so you can leave those all on or all off. It's up to you. Uh, but basically, once you do those two things, uh, so... The one thing to recap is set the default web payment gateway. That's for web payments, uh, terminal payments. Um, that's going to be set up differently uh, in, a, in a new tutorial coming. Uh, but then basically, once you go into your integrations and you put in these three settings here, your account ID, user ID, and your merchant pin. Once again, that's under admin, settings and options, and then integrations. You're going to put in those three pieces of information that would be sent to you in your welcome email. Um, that that part will be done and it'll be ready for payments and then to make it the default uh, web payment gateway you're going to want to go into your invoices and payments and settings and turn on the CPOS for default web payment gateway and that's it all right enjoy